In this video, I'm going to show you how to split a text thread in half in InDesign. This is technique is going to use scripts, something you may not be familiar with, but you'll learn real quick, and this is a powerful tool. So in InDesign, maybe you've got this whole text thread going along, and you want to chop this thing in half. You've used the official InDesign text thread break technique. I'll leave a link below, or you've tried a few other techniques, but really you need to break this thread in half. How do you do that? Well, there's a script you need to download. If you go to my website, there's a link below. Click the download where it's, uh, it's got this InDesign split text thread link. You'll pull that file onto your computer and let me pull it up in my finder here. You'll download it as storiesplitter.jsx.zip. I got this a long time ago, so if the guys who have it uh, just you know, let me know so I can give you credit. But you download this zip file, you expand it, and you get this thing called storiesplitter.jsx. Now in InDesign, in order to load a script, you simply, if you don't have the scripts panel, you go to Window, Utilities, and then go to Scripts, click that, and then what I want you to do is go to the User folder here, if you right click on the user folder and click reveal in finder, the scripts panel will open in your finder or your file explorer in Microsoft or uh, Windows, sorry. I'm a Mac guy, so you know, it's a little bit of a difference. What I want you to do is copy the story splitter from wherever you dropped it in your downloads or your desktop and place it into this panel into this folder that opened into InDesign in your scripts. Once you get that done and you go into your scripts panel, you'll click user and you'll see this story splitter script magically appear. It's pretty slick. Now what we're going to do is click, let's say I want to split the thread here. You simply click this frame, make sure it's selected, double click story splitter, and then you'll get all three options. You can split all the frames, you can split before the frame, or after the frame. In this particular case, I want to split after the frame to chop this in half. And then I click OK, and now when I hit Escape, you can see that this set of uh, frames and text threads are connected, and these two are connected, but the other two are not. So this story splitter is pretty powerful because you can chop up all the frames like in another video I'll put a link to, or you can split before or after. That story splitter is super, super handy. It should work for all versions of InDesign. So that's simply it. Now you know how to split stories and threads in InDesign. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and comment on the video. And if you found it super helpful, subscribe to my channel. I also have a complete course on how to do fiction book layout. Please check out the link below. See if it might be helpful for you. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm an InDesign instructor. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your layout work.